So, in a sense, uh, the other uh, the goal of Time Team was that it, it was never the idea was that it was never about treasure, looking for treasure. The, the idea was that we wanted to involve the viewer, give the viewer the next best possible experience to being on a dig themselves. The viewer gets the sense that they're able to listen, eavesdrop on conversations between some of the top specialists in the country and look over the shoulder of people as they're troweling. And who knows, they may share that moment when they find something really cool. One thing about this show is that one television show where you don't know what's going to happen over the three days. Um, uh, PBS from Oregon has been here and we set out a unit for them, a two by four meter unit, just so they could dig it. And now that they're uh, uh, digging away in the Clovis floor. And, and this morning they found an artifact that we're pretty certain came from North Carolina, about 200 miles from here. And what's the significance well, of that's, that? Well, that's pretty interesting because <clears throat> we know that people who lived down here didn't just live at, on the topper site, they lived in the whole valley. but. The question would be, where would the next large group of Clovis people be? And likely it would be up in North Carolina where you have a similar rock, a rock raw material that they would have used for their Clovis points. And of course, those would be different rocks. They're from the Piedmont. And so one of them showed up down here. And that's a concrete uh, indication of a, of a connection between the Clovis people here and probably the Clovis people 200 miles away. The biggest impression that I've taken away from it is just this is probably one of the best resourced and best managed sites that I've ever been on. And I think Dr. Goodyear is one of the most charismatic and effective kind of communicators of history, you know, of all the people I've met really. So I'm hoping that, you know, to give him as much screen time in this as possible so that the, the kind of magnetism of, you know, his kind of personality captures people's imagination in the way that it's capturing our archaeologists' imagination.